Okay, hello. So I just quick wanted to show how to make this screen ripple effect. Uh, so here we go. Uh, so we just take a new material, set it to post process, and it. Lots of this is just putting in numbers and stuff that I messed with for a while to get the look that I wanted, but you can always change them to something that you like better. So get a text, sorry, texture coordinate, just a moment, and we also need a 2D vector. Uh, this number will end up determining where in the screen the ripple origin is. So if you have it at 0 0.5, 0 0.5, it'll be in the center and then spread out from there. Uh, so when I used it in my previous video, it was at a different value at a 0 0.75, 0 0.5, so it would be offset to the side somewhat. Radial. So we can start getting circles here. <laughs> and there are some uh, unreal, unreal videos and stuff like that that I looked at that explain some of this math better that I'll try to link to. Okay, so mass just the G. And multiply and I did by 15 this is essentially just trying to uh, wash out the image more so it's not as heavy of an effect okay okay then I had constant uh, this one is just to affect the time, so you can change that value of 6 to depending on what kind of speed you want. Okay, let me take that time value to add. And then we want to take the sign. So that on a depth fade, um, this I used um, to get to make it so the effect wouldn't affect the back side of the hand when it was held up. So you might not even need this, or you might want it at a different distance, or anything like that. So, oh wait. mask okay yes yeah, so now you can see some of that ripple shape there. Okay, I want to add on to this. Uh, this is another thing that I was doing just to make it because the effect would be so extreme I did a bunch of stuff to make it as mild as I could so you can actually so it looks just distorted and not stretched all the way gone I guess. <laughs> If that makes sense, because it would uh, it would stretch so much, so you'd end up with ripples of just purely one color or something like that, instead of looking like a distorted background. Okay, 
snap that. Then we want another texture coordinate. And let's apply that by our newly cropped value there. And then that goes into a post process. Let's see, scene texture. And we want to get this to be post process input zero. Then we output that final result to the color. Okay, so now uh, we go to the camera that we want to affect, blendables under post-process, and add our new material. That's a little bit different than I expected. <laughs> so let me look at that real quick. Okay, so I was missing a couple things here. So I actually changed the period on the sign to a larger one to be five. Uh, that just makes the ripples bigger, so depending on the size you want them. And then here I missed a step where I actually wanted to add and I was doing 1.8. This is just another thing to uh, sort of fade out the intensity. Is that uh, it, it looked distorted more the way that I wanted it to. All right, let's see if that's good now. Oh, needs a minute. There we go. So now we've got the effect we're looking for. So uh, yeah, you can just mess around with the values the way you want to, make it look how you want. And then of course, inside uh, your camera script or your character script, uh, you can change the values. I think it's, let's see, post-process, oh yeah, set post-process blend weight, and you can use that to change the amount that this effect is showing up. So if you want to turn it on and off or whatever. Yeah, there you go. Thanks.